Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to my channel. My name is Asla and I work as a software engineer here in Prague, Czech Republic. In this video, I'm going to explain exactly how I landed my first software engineering job at IBM. So let's get to it. Many of you here might already know me from my Instagram account, Techie in Prague. And if I go through my DMs over there, most of the messages I get all the time is asking me, uh, how did I land my first job at IBM or how did I land my first software engineering job? So I thought of answering all of those questions here. Make sure you stick till the end of this video because I'm sure uh, no matter what part of learning journey you are, you might be able to leverage some of the tips I'm going to be sh sharing here. Uh, just to give you guys a little bit of background, I graduated as an IT and automation engineer back in July 2021, a few months back. But my journey towards software engineering actually started last year, December 2020. That's when I even started my Instagram account to document my journey. My engineering program was kind of special where it's like a three plus one year program where the first three years is like theoretical fundamental of engineering and the last year is specialization where you get to choose your own uh, specialization. We had a couple of interesting options like uh, environmental engineering, IT and automation, power and process and I chose IT and automation and in my last year I had uh, very good interesting courses like Java programming, digital electronics and a couple of introductory courses to machine learning and AI. But as soon as I started learning, I decided I need to dive deeper. So I started taking my own courses on LinkedIn Learning, Udemy. And one of the courses that I took was a game changer for me, which was a zero to master course where the course takes you from knowing nothing on web development and making you know, know HTML, CSS, jQuery and JavaScript. So that was like a very lengthy course, 100 hours of course. And I started learning that and that was kind of like the ah moment for me. That was like, oh my, okay, this is my thing. Uh, software engineering is my thing uh, kind of moment for me because until that point I was programming even, even in my high school, I was doing uh, computer science in my 11th and 12th grade. I, all I did was just do C and C++, you get a logical problem, you solve it and yeah, that was it. But when you actually do web development, you when you start coding in HTML and CSS, you start to see something you create. So that was like uh, very interesting to me. So you actually build something and you see it on the screen. I'm like, okay, this is, now I know how apps are built. You know, that was like a very opening moment for me. So I decided to dive deeper and I started learning and it, since it was my final year I, I wanted to start applying for internships. So there, are, there were a couple, were, a couple of companies that, that were running uh, internship programs at that time and I decided to apply to all of them and one of them was IBM and IBM has this student program called internship program called IBM Smarter University program. And I applied it to one of the positions there. Uh, and one of the positions were, was a junior developer role where the, you were work closely working with senior developers and doing user acceptance testing for one of the apps they were building. And that was like in their requirements. And I read that and it was like really interesting to me and I really wanted to get that internship and I applied for it. And turns out I got it. I had to go through three interviews, uh, two with the HR and one with the main manager, but it was, I, it turned out good and I ended up getting the internship. I wasn't doing any hardcore coding during the internship. All I was doing was I was closely working with senior developers who were actually coding. So I was getting only exposed to the actual code and I was only testing it, how the code was supposed to work, which was, uh, which was nice, which was a good experience to me. But for me, that internship was basically a, an opportunity to somehow turn it into a full time. Since day one, what I was trying to do was like try to talk to people, try to network through uh, through my team, through many people, try to understand who works for which team, who works for what, and let it, putting my word out there to let them know that okay, I'm available. I I'm about to graduate in a couple of months, and I, I I'm looking for a software engineering job. So my number one priority 
getting the internship was to eventually get a full-time job when I graduate. So I made sure uh, since day one I was networking, networking with the right people. So I was talking to everyone literally in my team, to my team leader, uh, even people be beyond my hierarchy, just to put the word out there that uh, I'm going to be a graduate soon. And I'm someone who's coming from an engineering IT background. So in case if there is a role available, just to get back to me. So even while I was doing my internship, I was still doing my 100 hours Udemy bootcamp and I was building oh, websites. I was building a couple of uh, beginner apps like uh, to do app, alarm clock. Uh, and I made sure everything I do, I, I'm documenting. I, I put it on Instagram. I built my own portfolio website and I was showing it on my portfolio website. Uh, just to just to put the word out there and two months into to my internship i my hr texted me on slack and told me okay there is a position available it's a salesforce developer um, role it's a salesforce engineer uh, will you be interested so i i was like uh, at that point i didn't know anything on salesforce i only knew salesforce was a cloud um, Salesforce is a SaaS, it's a software as a service. I didn't know anything beyond like, I didn't even know that you can actually develop for Salesforce. So I told my HR, I didn't, I don't know anything in Salesforce. Uh, she said, it's a, it's totally fine. My HR told me it's totally fine. Uh, they, they will teach you, but they, they're only looking for your uh, background in development. As long as you have some experience, it, you can teach it to yourself. So I was like, okay. And they gave me a coding assignment for Salesforce. Salesforce coding assignment was basically to build a component that makes an external web callout, API callout, and predicts uh, predicts the feedback of a case, subject, and description. So, for instance, if you have a review that says, uh, "Oh, this cup is not looking good," uh, the callout would the response would come back saying that the feedback is negative. So that was the uh, that was the coding assignment. It sounds silly or easy, maybe, but uh, since I didn't know anything in Salesforce, it took me like almost a month to do it. Uh, and I, I the best part was I got no deadline for it uh, because they knew that I'm I was an intern and I'm I'm still a student, so they gave me enough time to learn and finish it and send it back to them. So again. Udemy came to rescue. I, I took a course on Salesforce development on Udemy. It was around 40 hours, I believe, and I started doing it. I got a, I don't, I won't say I understood 100% of the course because it was completely, the whole platform was completely new to me. The whole cloud thing was completely new to me. Uh, until that point, I was developing on local servers and now I'm like completely on cloud. Uh, so. I got 30% out of it, uh, but what helped me was my background in Java. Uh, since Salesforce is using is like Apex, which is similar to Java, which is basically Java in the back end and in the front end, it's a JavaScript framework. So it didn't take me much longer to pick up. And I ended up finishing the assignment and I sent it back and a month later, I got the call for a code review interview. I was actually really scared because I haven't gone through any of the, those experiences before, but the interview went well. We just went through my code. The interviewer asked me a couple of uh, basic questions like principles of OOP, asked me to design a database. Thankfully, I knew that from my course at university, so I, I did them well. I would say my my point score in the interview was like 7 out of 10. So I wasn't really sure that they're gonna, they're gonna hire me. Since I, I had this engineering background and I was going to be a graduate, they offered me a graduate role, IBM's Associate's Graduate Program, which is for specifically programmed for graduates. And they ended up hiring me through the program. So that was, that was my journey of not knowing anything to coming to a point that I knew something. So the reason I decided to share my journey with you guys is for you to know what I did. But at the end of the day, everyone's going to have their own journey. Like I said in the beginning of the video, no matter what part of learning journey you are at, if you're taking away anything from this video or from my experience, it should be learn how to network, learn how to showcase your work. Uh, no matter what industry you're trying to break in, try to have your own uh, portfolio website, try to showcase your work in your own ways. So the next time an opportunity arises, you will be the first one to get the call. 
with that being said uh if you guys found this video any helpful subscribe to my channel and leave your thoughts below in the comments and i will get, catch you guys in the next one cheers